Merci. Alors, Ok, I start with the, the lesson of today with this lemma. Ok, we have uh, a divisor. On a projective surface. Such that. this square is positive, then either MD is, is not empty, this linear system, or minus MD is not empty for N greater enough, gre bigger enough, big enough, and OK, if you want, the sign of HD with H ample distinguishes the two cases. So if you have a big divisor, a divisor with d squared greater than 0, then Either nd is not empty or minus nd is not empty for n big enough. And uh, OK, of course, if this is not empty, this is effective, so this is positive. Otherwise, if this is effective, this is negative. OK, the proof is a simple application of Riemann Rock by Riemann Rock theorem. In the sequel. Riemann rock for surfaces, we have, well, if I take h0 of nd plus h0 kx minus nd, this is at, at least 1 half n squared d squared minus 1 half nd times kx plus chi o x. In the same way, h0 minus nd plus h0 kx plus nd, this is at least 1 half n squared d squared plus 1 half nd times kx plus chi. Well, but this quantity and this quantity cannot go to the infinity both. And h0 kx plus nd cannot both go to infinity. with n, in fact, if, say, there is a section here, minus, the multiplication by s gives an inclusion. Well, you take this one. When you multiply by s, s is inside here, so you have 2k. OK, so that. h0 of kx plus nd, this is uh, clearly 
less than or equal to h0 to kx, and this is independent of n. So the conclusion as is that either this or this must grow quadratically in n. Okay, so if you have a big divisor, either it or minus it is eventually effective. As a consequence, we have this corollary. Okay, x projective surface and uh, H ample divisor then this set take Q given by the class in N1 such that uh, the self intersection is non is positive as two connected components Namely, Q plus is the class in Q such that HZ is positive, and Q minus are the class in Q such that HZ is negative. Furthermore, the Morricone of x contains this part. So, okay. Well, the proof is uh, some application of Hodge index theorem, the theorem of this uh, lemma. In fact, by Hodge, We know that uh, the intersection form on N1 of X as signature one rho of X minus one. This is Hodge index theorem. And so since uh, in suitable coordinate so in suitable coordinates The corresponding quadratic form, this is a bilinear pairing, so there is an associated quadratic form, and the corresponding quadratic form can be written as x1 squared minus sum from i from 2 to r x i squared, where r is the picker number. Moreover, OK, this uh, one corresponds to, uh, to a class with positive self-intersection. And so we can take as a class the ample divisor. We can assume that the coordinates, the coordinate x1 correspond to the ample class H okay in other, let me write in this way the numerical class in such a way you know, or, or better so that in other words, 
in other words, OK, what is h? In this coordinates, in this coordinates, h is just square root of h times h. And then there is 0, 0, 0. This is the coordinate h, x1, this x2. And this is xn. OK, no, no, of course not. Then, now we can write back Q. What is Q? Is just x1, xn in n1 of x such that, well, the self intersection is positive, but the self intersection is given by that quadratic form in these coordinates. So the quadratic form must be positive. This can be rewritten as x1, xn in n1 of x, such that x1 is greater than the square root of this. This joint union to x1, xn in n1, such that x1 is less than minus square root. And well, if you write down things, this is just x1, xn in n1 of x, such that x1 is greater than 0, and q, sorry, of course. This joint union, x1, then in Q such that x1 is negative, and this is Q plus, and this is Q minus. Moreover, by the previous lemma, I have right here, given D in Q, since d squared greater than 0 by definition of q, by the previous lemma, we have either and d effective or minus and d effective. for big N and effective case corresponds to the case where there is positive intersection with the ample class. So the effective classes and all their limits must be contained in Q plus. Eh, sorry, the contrary. Q plus consists of ample classes, of effective classes. OK? Because the divisor of Q plus have positive intersection with uh, the ample classes. So they are the effective ones. The other ones are not effective. OK. So as a consequence of this, we can write down the cone of curves of an abelian surface, a general one. Example application. The cone 
the Morricon, of a uh, mm, yes let's say general or my general uh, oh, well, let's say of an abelian surface we will see later hello so let a h be a polarized abelian surface So this is an abelian variety of dimension 2, and this is uh, an ample device on it. If C in A is a curve, is a reducible curve, OK, we have since a does not contain rational curves. This is a consequence of the fact that uh, the universal cover of A is C2. And if you have a map from P1 to A, this map, uh, you can lift it, but this is C2, so it must be constant. Just a point. So there are no rational curves on abelian varieties in general. So since A does not contain rational curves, we have that the arithmetic genus of C is strictly positive. And by the genus formula for surface, this is C, C plus Ka divided by 2 plus 1, but this is OA, because uh, an abelian service is a trivial canonical divisor. OK. And so it's a actually trivial tangent bundle. So in this case, this is C squared 2 plus 1. Hence, C squared is greater or equal greater than 10 or equal to 0. So all irreducible curves on this abelian surfaces have positive, not positive, non-negative self-intersection. There are no irreducible curves with negative self-intersection. OK. Therefore, all effective divisors on A have non-negative self-intersection okay and by Nakaimo Ishelson for instance they have positive intersection positive I mean strictly positive intersection with the ample class. OK. So what happens? It happens that if I take the closure of the cone the Morricon, which is the closure of the cone generated by the effective classes, these are the classes in N1 such that, OK, the effective divisors have this, satisfy this relation, so the limits also satisfy this. On the other hand, effective divisor have positive intersection with the ample class, so their limits have no negative intersection. OK. And this is just, if you look at the previous lemma, you see that this is just the closure of, OK, it's not equal, it's included, of course. 
all the effective devices or satisfy this. And then this one is just the closure of what I called it before, Q plus. On the other hand, now there is the equality. On the other hand, we show it by the lemma we have Q plus is included in NE. And so also its closure is included because NE is closer. And uh, we have this inclusion. And we also have the reverse inclusion, so there is equality. Hence, a, oh, sorry, this is called A, so this is, sorry, this is A in my notation. X is A. I call it A the abelian surface. I'm sorry, and here is A. And so we have that. The Morricon, in this case, is just the closure of Q plus. So, OK. This is really comes from the fact that here we don't have any curve or negative self-intersection. Usually, curves or negative self-intersection gives extremal rays. In this case, uh, we have a round cone, in fact. So choosing coordinates as before. We can write that this n, the Morricone of A is just given by the x1 xr in n1 of A such that we are there. OK, here. This is Q plus. And uh, the closure is just with greater than or equal to. Xi. OK. When the picker number is at least 3. OK, if the picker number is 2, this is a cone in P2, so in R2. So it cannot be a round cone. But when rho of x is at least 3, this is a round cone, yeah? Of x as well. Sorry? Of ah, yeah, yeah, thank you very much. When uh, the picker number is at least 3, this is a round cone in R. R. I will make a picture now. So. So the situation is as follows. So we are in the following situation. I have this. Uh, this is uh, the upper plane h orthogonal. 
then there is uh, a part corresponding here. This is 0. There is this round cone with two pieces corresponding to the zero to the zero locus of the quadratic form. There is a part lying here, lying here. And another part, which is here. OK, so this is the half space where h is positive. This is the half space where h is negative. And this cone here corresponds exactly to the Mori cone. So if the picker number is at least 3, we are in this situation here. This is the Morricon, this part here. There is this round cone, which is the zero locus of the quadratic form in that coordinate. And uh, the Morricon, which is the closure of effective classes, effective classes, it is just the part of this cone given by the zero locus of the quadratic form lying in the half space corresponding to device uh, to curves which have a positive intersection with the amplitudes. OK. Uh, in particular, this cone is not finitely generated. This is a round cone. It's not polyhedral. In particular, an E of x is not finitely generated in this case. Moreover, every boundary class z generates an extreme array spans an extreme array. So we have a boundary class here. If you take a boundary class here, you take here a boundary class, there is this extreme array here. And uh, in particular, so this, I mean, this is a circle in this picture. And uh, there are points, I mean, almost all points on this circle are not rational coordinates. So there are extremal rays was only rational point is 0. OK, this means that these extremal rays are in the Morricon, but they, cannot, they are not classes of effective divisor in the abelian surface. They are limit, but not classes of effective divisors. In particular, <coughs> such rays are not spanned by the class. of an effective Q divisor on A. So also in this situation, this is quite surprising, I mean, but this is what happens. In this case, if the, if the picker number is at least 3, the cone is a round cone, and so there are all points in the boundary generates an extremal ray, but uh, almost all the points in the boundary contain no rational points. So they are not curves. They are just limits of curves, but they are not curves corresponding to, uh, they are not Q divisor in the abelian variety. OK, example of this situation. Take a product of an elliptic curve with itself 
uh, assume that there is no complex multiplication. Oh, I mean, if there is complex multiplication, then the picker number is 4, otherwise it's 3. OK, let's say like this, and we have rho of x equal 3 and rho of a equal 3 if there is no complex multiplication. In this case, this is e times 0, this is 0 times e, and this is delta. In this case, narrow severity of a, uh, well, let's see it's the same, but let's say n1. Mm -hmm. And one of A is spanned by E times zero, zero times E, and delta, the diagonal, OK? We can take a principal polarization given by a polarization here plus a polarization here, a product polarization. H on A, so that this polarization is a principal polarization, is a product of two principal polarization in here and here, and uh, with uh, coordinates x1, x2, x3, for n1 of a, which is r3 as above, we have that the Morricon of a is given by x1, x2, x3, such that x1 square minus x2 square minus x3 square is greater or equal to 0. And this is the description in this case. Just as an aside, I have a yeah, remark. So this is not finitely generated. In fact, remark, there is a result of Thomas Bauer. I think, if a, if a is a billion variety, then the Morricone of a is finally generated if and if A is isogenous to the product of mutually non-isogenous abelian varieties of dimension of picker number one. This is clearly not the situation in this case because uh, in this case A is the product of an elliptic curve with itself. So the condition is not satisfied. Example take uh, A A1 times A2, A1, A2 not isogenous, elliptic curve, 
Well, so in this case, there is no correspondence. So the only possibility, the only element, then n1 of a is just generated by a1 times 0 plus a0 uh, times a2. And so in this case, we have a cone in R2, which is clearly finitely generated. As a convex cone, yeah, 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 yeah. As a convex cone. This is not clearly a round cone cannot be generated by a finite number of vectors. But if you take uh, something like that, it is. So it's this is a situation for far varieties, for instance, when there is no positive kx positive extremal rays. I think that this example showed that the Morricone is a subtle invariant of the variety because in this situation, for instance, is clearly very different from this situation. This reflects the fact that the geometry of the two abelian varieties is very different. Uh, in particular, here, we have a non finitely generated cone. And uh, we will see some other examples that can look even more pathological. This is not really pathological, but there are, we will see other examples. OK, now, in order to understand these cones, one must understand a little bit extremal classes, so vectors that can generate the cone. So let me state a result with, in some sense, uh, give some conditions, in some sense, give some conditions uh, assuring that a class is on the boundary or even better spans an extremal ray. Proposition for surfaces. Projective surface, smooth if you want, I think. OK. One, if C. Let okay. Just uh, I englobe everything in. I take. Uh, I take. C a curve. One. Okay. If C square is non-positive then this is on the boundary. Two. If C squared is negative, then C spans an extremal ray. OK, three, if C square <laughs> is equal to 0 and the curve kx negative, then oh, it, uh, let me write uh, in this way, sorry. If C square is uh, equal to 0, kx C is uh, less than 0, and C spans an extremal ray, then what happens? What happens that x is ruled over a smooth curve? C 
C is a fiber, and the picker number is 2. Finally, but why not yet finally, if there is a class, now not a reducible class, a curve, but I take a class, if z in n1 of x spans an extreme array, of n e of x, and the self-intersection is positive, so far we talked about non-positive self-intersection. But now, if I take something which spans an extreme array and does positive self-intersection, then x is picker number 1. And can be proven almost easily. You can find it in the bar book. But even more is true. In this case, x is p1, p2. More difficult. You can show actually that in that case, x is p2. Is if there is an extreme array having positive self-intersection, necessary, the Morricone is a line, and actually the variety is p2. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, an extreme array um, uh, and with, uh, you are completely right. Oh, so if there is a kx negative extreme array of positive self intersection, then the picker number is 1. This is not very difficult to prove, but a little more difficult, actually, the variety is isomorphic to p2. And finally, OK, if z spans an extreme array, And z square and z square is less than zero. I think in this case there is no we we do not uh, add anything else. Then the extremal ray is spanned by an irreducible curve. So this class contains an irreducible class. A reducible curve. Okay, so um, I have no time to give the proof of everything, but you can find it in the bar book, for instance. I just let me give, just to give an idea, a sketch of proof of uh, one and two. The rest of the statement you can find them in uh, the bar's book. That is the is contained in the references I gave to the organizers. So, oh, of course. Mm. By the way, just let me remark that uh, 
in case 3, for instance, if uh, there is uh, a kx negative extremal ray of zero self-intersection, then the surface is ruled. This is extremely important. It's important that uh, the condition kx negative, because otherwise, think of the case of uh, this abelian surface here. The yellow cone, every boundary point is an extremal ray with zero self-intersection, because they are the zero point of the the zero locus of the quadratic form, but this is not ruled, of course, because the extremal rays are not kx negative. kx is zero, so kxc is zero for every boundary point. So it's important that condition kxc less than zero in three is essential, cannot be removed. OK, once I say it so, sketch of 1 plus 2, the remaining points can be found in the bars book. OK, assume first c squared equals 0. OK, since C is irreducible, this implies C times D non-negative for all effective divisors. This is clear because uh, if you, this is irreducible. If D does not contain C, then uh, of course uh, the intersection is uh, greater than zero or zero. Otherwise, the only possibility in which can be a negative self-intersection when some component of this contains C, but this cannot happen. So you cannot have negative here because by assumption C squared is zero. So we have this one. Okay, and so, Hence, by continuity now, if you want, the linear functional and one of x r given by x goes to c times x is non-negative. I mean, this is true for uh, integer classes, so it's true for rational classes, and by continuity, it's true for real classes. This is over R. It's non-negative on n e of x, and identically 0 on uh, the ray spanned by c, because c squared is 0. OK. In other words, what happens? OK, the Morricone lives where? In one of the alpha spaces. determinate by the hyperplane C orthogonal, namely in the alpha space <coughs> in C letter 10 or equal to 0, OK. And touches this hyperplane at C, because C squared is 0. By convexity, this means that this is on the boundary.
you have a closed convex cone that lives in a half space and touches the upper plane, which is, uh, which is determining this half space in one point. This means that by convexity, these points must be on the boundary. OK, in general, so when c squared is 0, we found that this lives in the boundary. In general, take, uh, consider an irreducible curve how much time? 10 minutes. D in x, different from c. Then d times c is positive, not negative. OK, so d belongs to the part of the Mori cone which is in the half space c non negative. Well, well, so if you take c, c is c squared equal 0. And if you take a device, a reducible curve, which is different from c, this curve lives here. So the Mori cone is spanned by r, r this ray and this part. Namely, any of x is this plus this. Well, now take. Mm, Yes. Ah, sorry, now I'm general. So now I'm not assuming that c square is, uh, is 0. We are at 1 plus 2. So either 0 or equal to either c square less than 0 or equal to 0. In general, this means c OK. Anyway, if there is something which is different from c, we are in this part. If there is something which is, uh, I mean, if there is uh, one we consider c, there is this remaining part of the cone. Very well. Now, where is? OK. Now, if c squared is less than 0, what happens? Then c cannot stay here. by definition of this. So we get that in this case, get this ray intersection and E of x is just 0. If c square is negative, there is no Ne nothing in the intersection, because here the self-intersection is negative. And here, all curves here, all classes here have non-negative intersection with C. So in this case, we have this. OK, assume now that we have two classes, U, V in the Morricon, such that the sum belongs to this ray. Well, then u plus v times c is negative, because we are assuming this. OK. Hence, either uc is negative or vc is negative. If uc is negative, then u is again in this. Uh, OK, what happens? 
to um, then u does not belong to this part hence u belong to the remaining part because when c squared is negative the intersection here is zero okay now if we have this then we can write v as u plus v minus u this is in r in the array generated by c by assumption where is this uh, yes and this is again in the array generated by c i proved it now and so so that v is also in the array generated by c so what i proved i proved that when c square is negative and we have a sum of two classes belonging to the array expanded by c both classes belong to the array expanded by c in other words the array expanded by c is extremal And this ends the proof of 1 and 2. OK. Well, and uh, I think that, um, yeah, since the next part is the rationality remma that requires some. Uh, some time, I think that uh, now is a good moment to stop. Thank you. <laughs>